This video is going to show you how to submit a null company tax return on SARS e-filing website in ITR 14. So what you're going to do is you're going to log on to your company e-filing profile. If you're unsure of how to use a e-filing for companies, I've got a video in the description below for that. I'll give you a little rundown. So in other words, you're going to get to your tax return that you want to submit. This is a 2022 one I've gotten, so just to recap, you can go to returns issued on the left hand side and you're going to select the year 2022, if that's what you're doing. And then you're going to open the ITR 14, which is now the company tax return. So this is what it's going to show you. And it's got a whole bunch of C at the top, about six or eight uh, little it says register details, dormant, company type, capital gains, lost transactions. So you've got to go through all those at the top. And we're going to go through a couple more popular ones. Obviously, if you're doing a null, there's not going to be capital gains and, and the like, but there are some ones that you still need to fill out if you're doing a null store. So register details, essentially, if you're if you're doing this as a, as a registered representative of the company, then that's fine. You can click yes. If you're not sure how to add a registered representative or to link your e-filing profile with the company one, I've also put some videos in the description below, so check that out. So we clicked yes for registered details. We're going to go along a bit. And now important is a company type. So you'll see the bottom red arrow, you're going to click on the company type for this one is being a no. I selected a micro business, a micro business being qualifying turnover less than a million. So obviously it's a no assets less than 5 million. At this point, when our father's return, this company had no assets. That's not a body corporate or share block company. So if that's the case for you, you should be able to click then a micro business. The other options available would be small business or medium to large corporation. So not relevant for this, no return. But when I do the 2023 tax return for this particular company, I believe I'll be doing a small business. So keep an eye out for that. And we can show you how then to do a small business return to get the small business corporation tax rate. So July or so, I'll be releasing that video. So keep an eye out for that. So like I said, micro business, it says a null, so you've got no gross income and no assets, so that's simple. Okay, you're going to go along a bit at the top, and what's important, company information. Is the company tax resident in South Africa or resident in South Africa for income tax purposes? So in other words, is the company based in South Africa? Generally speaking, that's how it is. You're going to click yes, it's important that SARS has it as a South African tax resident company, if it's a South African tax resident company, if it's operating here generally speaking so you can click yes on that one and then that's all the, the questions at the top now we're going to go down to the bottom further down so you're going to check the company or closed corporation particulars the name uh check that's right the trading name the registration number and you see the bottom here with the arrows are the the, the profit or the, the source industry code and then the source code so just have a look through the list there what size is and choose the one that's most applicable to your company or what your company does okay so the balance sheet like i said this is a null so there aren't any assets or liabilities so it's straightforward they're all going to be nulls and income statement so you know if you do have if you aren't filing a null and you actually have income you're obviously going to fill out your income your expenses and and, and get to the the profit or loss but just for this video, it being null, these are all going to be null, so it's straightforward. And the last one then is the tax computation, which as it's null is, is all going to be null. Um, but just remember that um, we're going to give you a video for the 2023 tax year when I can do this company's tax return when it's been operating. And it's got income, it's got expenses, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So subscribe to learn more about e-filing SARS tax in South Africa.